Oh, hi. Welcome to Con Carolina's Television. I am Bronner. I'm Ray. And these are our lovely guests. I will have them introduce themselves, starting with <laughs> this young lady. Hi, I am Arooks. I am from the Blue Skirt Boy Network, and I'm a huge Harry Potter fan. Yeah. yeah super fan girl. All right. So this handsome devil that just so happens to be related to me. Who are you? I am Michael. Um, I'm obviously related to Rachel. No. And I'm a huge Harry Potter fan as well. Now, this is kind of like a Harry Potter moment right now is because he doesn't look anything like Rachel, but he looks a lot like me. In fact, people go, oh, your son's really cool. I met him. I'm like, what? Son. But yeah. <laughs> no, that's my baby brother. We yeah, but that's, yeah. They Harry Potter. And DNA stuff. that they share <laughs> and stuff. It's oh, good yeah. stuff. But they do share some love for Harry Potter. I'm going to, you know. You know, full transparency right now is um, I'm Lord of the Rings guy. <laughs> I'm not a Harry Potter guy. I've tried. So your multi- wizards pick sides. Got it. Yeah. My wizards pick sides. <laughs> I, I've tried to become one with the wizarding world. You know, as a family, we've tried it, you know, <laughs> but um, I don't know what it is. But we'll go through and we'll talk about it. And maybe these cats can convince me otherwise. So in case you hadn't guessed, this episode is, you know, wandering the wizarding wizarding world. And we are going to talk about things that are, you know, Harry Potter, which, you know, I'll abbreviate to HP, you know. And then, yeah, because I'm cool. (laughs) And then we have Fantastic Beasts. Which I it, I think it was released on Wednesday, but it might not have been. That might have been like a selected theater kind of thing. But I think it, it's going. If not, it's going worldwide. Maybe the chat can help me on Friday. So we never talk about spoilers here. So we have not seen the new one, um, and we'll try not to talk about spoilers in at least the latest movie. We don't talk about Virgo. No, 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 no. no. I saw like a heavy metal (laughs) clip of people doing that on TikTok, and I was those were awesome. I was in love. (laughs) But Bruno was not the focus. Okay, (laughs) it was right. It was cool. Killer. It was really cool. Why didn't it win an Oscar? They're rigged. You know that was (laughs) that whole that whole thing was green screen. (laughs) Just saying. (laughs) May may have happened. May not. But I heard he got like 10 years. Yeah. You know? Ten years. Yeah. So he's doing a hard time. No, Not allowed to get an Academy Award or even be yeah, there. Yeah, that, that time is so hard. <laughs> he's rough. It's so soft. Yeah, Michael, bring up that volume. Okay. It's all about that. Let's base. hear it. Shout it across the rooftops. Henry! Oh. <laughs> that kind of shit. It's all about that base. All yeah. right. So honestly, you know, by a show of hands, how many actually knew prior to the first movie that there was actually books. You knew that there were books before the first movie? I did. I actually read the books first. Really? I did. How young I am. Well, I'm you're a younger younger generation. See, like when it first came out, like I have a funny story about the books. Yes, I please. was a um, I was in college and uh, in the summer I earned money by being a counselor for a leadership camp and one of I don't remember which book it was but one of the books was getting released and we collected money from the kids and stood in line for the books and oh, wow. came back with a pile of books and handed them out and that's yeah <laughs> i thought you were gonna say like i had all these kids pitching for these books and i took them home <laughs> I, I would have been very yeah. proud of you at that moment but okay Sorry. all right you might you were in montana right when I, you read those books i could have sworn daniel introduced them to me did he not wasn't he reading them first? Daniel doesn't know how to read. <laughs> Daniel knows how to read. Don't do that. That's her other brother. I'm sorry, Daniel. But he did. Michael knew the books existed. And when the movies came out, he was so excited. So we had to go watch it. Didn't and we, I was hooked. For like the first few movies, didn't we go see him like midnight premiere? 
or no, 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 that we did. <laughs> so you do. dreamt about that. I could have sworn we, we did a couple of them. Listen, you were young. I probably told you it was. Yeah, before. right. That's fair. That's fair. <laughs> She's like, put a blindfold on you until you got into the dark movie theater. <laughs> like, surprise! It's midnight! It's the first We're going showing. to the very first showing oh, ever. My, my like three weeks after oh, it came out? <laughs> We're on the red carpet. <laughs> but it is. He was excited about it, so we went, and I was immediately hooked. And so we had a deal. Like, every movie that came out, I was taking him to see it. Yeah, so... Uh, and that was so sweet, right? Unfortunately, they, they're going to see the, the new one. And I asked if I could go, like, sneak into Batman. <laughs> they were watching. <laughs> Fair enough. Fair enough. <laughs> or whatever. You can sit there and get a nap. That's what you could do. Yeah, I can sleep. Be supportive. I've literally <laughs> fallen asleep in every movie that's Harry Potter or Fantastic Beast related. From what I've seen, you fall asleep through every movie. Every Shut movie, really. the hell. Like, get out. Did you fall asleep during <laughs> Batman? No. You didn't. That's surprising. I've never fallen asleep during a Batman movie. I've seen you snoring during the dark night. So Harry Potter. <laughs> I've seen it 77 times. I'm not going to comment on how many times you've fallen asleep. All right, asleep. listen. I'm feeling really abused. Sean! <laughs> <laughs> oh, All right. You pulled a dad nap I did. the chat. No love. <laughs> Zero love. That's, that's where we are right now. <laughs> <laughs> He's doc, oh. Dr. No Love. You're the <laughs> All right. So who's everyone's uh, favorite he- Harry Potter hero? We're going to keep it like in the um, Harry Potter bubble um, for for now. Okay. So who's your favorite Harry Potter hero? Do it, Mike. Me? Yeah, who's your favorite? I'm, I'm basic. I was Harry. Harry! But why Harry? <laughs> like, what is it about Harry that... Probably because I was so young that he was like the main character. So I was like, whoa, I want to be like that. You know, I want to be the star. So he was something for you to re- relate to and gravitate. Yeah, exactly. He's terrible at school. I'm terrible at school. Or it was. <laughs> um, He's so brutally honest with himself. He, he <laughs> transferred into this whole new world when he was only 11. That's a Latin. <laughs> what? <laughs> Oh, okay, I see. Okay. Wrong whole new world, sweetheart. But there may or may not be butterbeer in this thing. All right. What about our beautiful Arug's guest? Um, I would have to say it is a tie between Luna Lovegood and Hermione. Oh, and yeah. I... I Luna, I love Luna because she's just so always genuine to herself. It's never she never nothing phased her, and she was she was quirky, and she was the quirky yeah. one. But and but she was genuine. Nothing and and Hermione only because I have girls, and I thought that she had she was this very strong female character, and you know my daughters actually look up to her and. She was the real one that saved everybody's behind. So you know what? Okay. That's fine. <laughs> so it, it would have to be the toss up between the two. So the the first person was that the the girl that lived in the bathroom? No, that's yeah. Molly Myrtle. That's Molly no, Myrtle. she's the um, one with the, the glasses and the blonde hair. She yeah. This is gonna happen a lot. <laughs> the petting will happen a no, lot. Babe, she's the one that like was the Moaning Myrtle. Light I swear in our work we have one. We're, we're a moaning myrtle sure that one of the stalls is haunted. <laughs> she, her voice was like super quiet and she was very sweet and she never mm. got upset. Moaning myrtle. All yeah. right. Moaning myrtle definitely got So, upset. what about you, yeah. my love? Okay, so my favorite hero. Or villain. Be complicated. It doesn't have to be a, a hero, it could be a villain. You said hero. Hero slash villain. No, you said hero. <laughs> okay, well, I wrote well, hero slash villains, villain. Because that's a whole yeah. separate category. All right, well, quick, rapid fire then. Stop. <laughs> Yell at me. Pet me. <laughs> oh, I'll pet you, all right. I have to be complicated and I have to go with Snake. That's my favorite hero. That's a hero? Yes, Wasn't he like I a villain that, that became a hero? I He's the anti hero. The, the anti hero, the level of complexities in the character but then at the end to find out that it wasn't complex at all 
it it was very truly simply just love. Oh, and it was like oh my god. There should be like this like love sing songy soundtrack going <laughs> right now. Well, if you wouldn't have pissed off the producer. Oh snap! <laughs> I don't think we're really at odds right now, but in any case, <laughs> uh, villain Mikey, go. Uh, probably not for it. No, no, no. All right. He had a cool do, from what I remember, right? He, He's kind blonde, kind of like yeah. white almost, right? Yeah. Very like slick back. Yeah. No, he had a cool do. He reminded me a lot of like Bush. I mean, <laughs> the president, the band, a tree. <laughs> he was very my chemical romance oh okay okay I mean, got you. got it bam, bam. okay we're not that kind of show zip it no. <laughs> all right Arugs, what do you got for villain dolores umbridge i hate oh, her no. on so many levels and i like it every time every time i just like i oh i hate her i hate her with all the not like so might and being of everything villain? Like, I hate her, and I hate to love her because she was such a good villain. Like, she was just a good villain. Yeah, because she wasn't she wasn't there to just, like, kill or hurt the students. She just wanted power and control. And she Is that, she was did. she the one that, like, it's in the, the pink, pink outfit? Okay. Yes. It's the pink cool. With the kitties. Yeah, the she, she was lady. crazy. She was crazy. She was crazy. So I like the, um, obviously, uh, the dude. Uh, dude? that no the chick i think um i don't even know what her name is but um she was she's been in a lot of like um movies <laughs> uh helen bottom carter i don't know what her name is in the oh, bellatrix. Bellatrix. bellatrix bellatrix the strange yeah she was really cool character i thought I, I would watch it I, my, I, when I would pop open when she was on, on screen. So that was fun. Well, I'm glad you brought that up because she's my favorite villain. Yay, see? Because she's not exactly like bad. This. She's just crazy. Yeah, and I'm crazy. Yeah, so it's cool. There's some relatable things going on there, for sure. <laughs> all right. So, <laughs> all right. So, besides Mikey <laughs> and Arugs, has anyone else read the books? I have not. And I'm a big fan of, you know, the written word, but yes. I didn't read the books. I love Bottom Carter. It is hot. Who said that? Who do you think? I don't know. John? Andero? Yeah. <laughs> the best Shut producer up. ever. <laughs> <Shut up. laughs> on broadcast, I went there. Right. The backlash is all on And you. what? <laughs> um all right so cool um were the books better i mean mike i'm gonna like not ask you this question because <laughs> you were like six when you read the book so you probably yeah, didn't okay. how old were you when the first movie came out oh, it was what, that was a long time ago 1990 2001 came it, out? It, it just had its like 35th anniversary right no. or 25th anniversary. 25th anniversary so you weren't even alive yet the first movie yeah, right? No. no. Somebody do somebody Google that shit. Somebody Google I mean stuff and let us know in the okay. chat. All right, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So were the books better at Rugs than the movies? I Should I read so. the books? Yes. It's okay. So I'll enjoy them because I read like a lot of books. Do you want to know the date of the first movie? Yeah. Yes. Two thousand and one. And what year were you born? Ninety seven. Okay, so you were like six. I mean, I'm not doing math. Four? I was three when the first movie came out. <laughs> I'm not, you know don't ask me to do math. It was the third movie we started on. Oh, my God. It was a long time ago. Wow. I think I like the books better only because there's just a lot of detail that get. I mean, though the, though the movies were really good and a, a very very close there's just a lot of details that got left mm -hmm. out and a lot of really fun details that you only get with with the books so yeah. you know it's yeah like no peeves no peeves yeah. but you get peeves in the book 
What is Peas? He was one of the ghosts in oh. Hogwarts. Like all of the ghosts that hold ghosts, why the ghosts are in the castle. Like you had no yeah. idea, like in the movie, but the ghosts, like that whole backstory and mm -hmm. the, the death day scene, like that. Oh, yeah. yeah. And then what was it? The Headless Hunt that Nick, Nicholas? Yeah. You know, the Headless Nick wanted to join? There was a whole thing about that in the book that never got explored in the movies. Shots fired. Sean says you're not going to be able to make it through the book because you couldn't even make it through the movies. <laughs> yeah, reading is a whole different animal. It is. And having me, at least. seen and enjoyed the movies, because I haven't read the books yet, uh, but having enjoyed the movies the way that I do, I want to pick up the books because... You don't have to even pick them up. If those... Pick them up, like I pick up the reading. Oh, yeah, yeah. You have to actually physically like, pick physically it up. But I think we up. own them. I think Naya left, my daughter left but the series it's here. It's those details that I'm like, okay, I'm in love with the characters. I'm in love with the story. So I want to like hear those things about them. It's almost like getting that, I don't know, behind the curtains look. Yeah. Like, I want to peek. Yeah, I'm going to peek behind the curtains a little bit. I mean, I bet you do. honestly, <laughs> honestly, there, when you factor in all the times I've tried to watch the movie, I've actually seen the movies in total, you know, like, like completely. Yeah. So, I mean, I've seen the movies. So I just happen to like, you know, Lego Harry Potter better than the movies. <laughs> That's just me, though. I mean, not everyone can like it. Okay. So was there any aha moments for for anybody when they finally realized that that character was played by that actor or actress? Actor, I think is the Yes, and I'm so embarrassed with myself that I don't know the name of Willow, the actor that plays in Willow. Willow. Warwick, Warwick Davis. Davis. Warwick Davis. Yes. And when I found out that he was that ugly little thing in Green Gods, I was like, what? That's he also true. Play the he plays the Leprechaun. little short professor. Yeah, I know. But he also, doesn't he play Leprechaun in that horror movie? Yeah. Yeah. But he's also, I think he's he plays several roles in uh, Harry Potter movies. Yeah, not just the, the one. He played the goblin. Two. He played the goblin in Green Gods. Mm -hmm. And he played the little short professor. Yeah. Flitwick. Yeah. Yes. Look at him. I mean, you can kind of see that's a person, but that other the little one that, goblin. The <laughs> one that I think I recognize, I don't even know if it was from Harry Potter, but it's the guy who, um, and now I'm embarrassed because I don't remember his name because he's in everything. He narrates the UFC fights, not like commentates, but he like narrates like stories and stuff. Ron Perlman, Hellboy. He was, he played something in one of the movies. So just Google it something. if you don't know. But yeah, I recognized him and I said, he, hey. He played, he played um, the. He was like a barkeep or something. Bar, he, yeah, he played the bar manager in the first in Fantastic, Fantastic Beasts. Beasts. Ah, different, different. With the weird, with the weird curly fingers. Yes. Yeah. yeah. The one that wanted the little Groot thing. The little Groot thing. They're so <laughs> cute. I love it. See, I'm just throwing them out so I can get fit. <laughs> okay. That's a beautiful thing. You just sit there. Like All that. right. So I know this is like a Harry Potter panel and everything, but let's be honest. Are you team Dumbledore or are you team Gandalf? Dumbledore, obviously. Obviously, right? Dumbledore? Dumbledore. Dork? What is his name? Dumbledore. I have not watch the lord of the rings all the way through or read the books oh. so can i ha, i can't i can't make a judgment like, I mean, without, I, i'm Wallace. going to stay neutral because that would be an unfair call like like chris is falling asleep i will say a word to the wise the don't movies. read the books unless you want to read an entire three chapters describing what a chair that, just watch the movie yeah, I mean, the movies were brilliant. And I think that was probably the key to the success of both Harry Potter and Lord of the Rings is that they, they committed to several movies so that they could creatively explain oh. everything and not be able to cram everything into one movie kind of thing. 
which was just beautiful work of art kind of thing on both accounts, really. I mean, they were both really visually stunning movies or series or whatever you want to call them. We are outnumbered because the chat hits Gandalf. Gandalf, baby! We have a very smart chat. Right. Yeah. You keep telling yourself that. Because <laughs> that works for me. All right. That's, that's nice. I, I, I thought forever his name was Dumbledore. <laughs> no. No, I didn't. All right. So, uh, Arugs, what is your favorite Harry Potter scene? Um. Hmm. My favorite Harry Potter scene. It has to be the Snape dying scene. Like at the very, like when he's dying and like, I can watch that every single time. And he's like going through the memories of him and Lily and that whole flashback. And it it's just gut wrenching the whole scene. And I watch it and I get the same physical emotional reaction every time. And it's just such a, great great scene so yes that one <laughs> yeah it must have been asleep during that. <laughs> it's, it's all right uh rachel what was your favorite so this is the thing we're gonna preface this i'm gonna spike your coffee with monster chase it with a red bull and we are watching freaking harry potter okay <laughs> this is delicious by the way it's delicious. I know. I don't know what kind it is, but it's fun. Don't worry. Um, all right. What's your favorite scene? Just put it in your mouth. So, my favorite scene. Go ahead. I swallowed. <laughs> First time swallowing? Are you ready? Help me. Help me. Okay. Yeah. So. Yeah. Favorite scene. What? Man. It's when somebody dies. I don't like our favorite scenes when somebody dies. I'm gonna put you in time out. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, okay. We have like a wheeze factor now. You're gonna get stuck. Don't do it. Okay. Okay, Sorry, Ray. So, please. That's what I'm gonna agree. Dobby, the Dobby scene is my second favorite. But my very first favorite, my favorite favorite scene is when Sirius dies. Uh, that that whole battle sequence. Is that Gary Oldman? Accidentally calls. That is Gary Oldman. Yeah. Yeah, he he accidentally calls Harry James, oh. and you know, she, if for that moment, Harry Potter has a family. And he has hope, and you know they're fighting together, and then oh, it's gone. And it's like every time I just cry. It's cool. All I'm right. not too cool to admit it. Can I say a fun fact about that scene real quick? Fun sure. fact. Fun facts. I love fun we facts. like fun facts. In the book, it was not the killing curse that killed him. Bellatrix shot a jinx at him, and it bounced him into the veil of mist. That that's what killed him. Is that thing is like a. I don't know exactly sucks what your it is. Soul yeah, it like sucks your soul out. Yeah, I think you oversold that fun fact. <laughs> I thought it was great. Why don't you just sit there and look pretty? Okay, I'm sorry. <laughs> All right. So my favorite part. Oh, Mike, go Nobody ahead. Cares. What was your favorite fun fact part? Um, well, it's actually not a death, thankfully. Thank God. Um, it's it's, not really it's in the up. it's in the sixth movie when Harry drinks the liquid luck. And he's going that's, around the, the castle and that's um, a funny movie. That's a funny. just Slughorn. Slughorn. He he goes with Slughorn and yes. Slughorn says the the words for Aragog. That's my favorite scene with the, the princes. So my favorite part is when like he did the wand thing you. and the Legos broke apart and <laughs> <laughs> led him into the dungeon. No, my favorite part was when, you know, the credits started. <laughs> Don Darrow, nobody's sucking your soul. Okay. You'd have to have a soul to suck first. Right. Ah. So and those I are mean. great. Those are great. All right. So Alan Rickman is my favorite thing about Harry Potter, probably, um, because I love Alan Rickman. 
Um, so really quick, does anyone have like their favorite Alan Rickman non Harry Potter thing going? Yeah. What do you got? Robin Hood. Oh, that's right. Yes. Right. Because you know. I mean, he's in a lot of things. He's gonna like... cut a heart out with a spoon. <laughs> And you could you could really just pick anything because he's just a phenomenal actor, and Truly. everything he does, he just completely transforms himself. He's been all different kinds of characters, and he nails it every time. I loved Hans Gruber when he was Die Hard. That was that was my favorite. When I found out he was Hans Gruber in Die Hard. It kind of blew me away because I've only right. really seen him in like Sweeney Todd or you know Harry Potter or Robin Hood. That's a great Christmas movie. Sweeney Todd? No, Die Hard. Oh, Die Hard is a great Christmas movie, which is a great debate. <laughs> That'll be another episode of Con Carolina's it's, television. I don't think it's a Christmas movie. Me and my best friend have a fight every year. Mine is Dogma. I loved him in Dogma. Uh, he was, uh, it, it was just because it was just, I love the whole movie, but he was yeah. just great in it. Like I feel like he made the movie, so yeah, <laughs> good stuff. All right, uh, what about Gary Oldman? He's another one of the you mentioned serious radio. Um, my, of course, he was Commissioner Gordon, so you know I love that. But I loved him as the bad dude in the professional. Um, so anyone else have a favorite Gary Oldman movie? I'm trying to think of the one. It was with Keanu Reeves. It was the old movie about um, Vlad the Impaler, I think. It's like a vampire movie. Yeah. I think was it called Vlad? No. No. It was. It that was, was a different. Was it just Dracula? It was Dracula. It was a Dracula. Bram yeah, Stoker's Dracula. Dracula. Right, yeah. 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 That was a great movie. Yeah, he was. Yeah. I mean, that was amazing role. Yeah, I'll take it back. You know, he that was way better than. Commissioner Gordon. That really was good. Any day. That, I think now that Any you mentioned it, that's going to end up eking its way out for me. Just because all of I think Dracula movies. would be mine. Yeah. Oh, well, yeah. Everybody loves Dracula. All right. Does anyone know what the relationship between uh, Volder Grom and <laughs> Harry are? I mean, what's that relation? They're like great cousins or something like that. Okay. They're related, blood related, blood mm -hmm. relatives. I didn't know that. You learned something new. They're also related to the Peverell brothers, who were the founders of the Deathly Hollows. That's how he ended up with the invisibility cloak. Yep. <laughs> I love the level of nerd you all are achieving right now. <laughs> <laughs> it's amazing. I can't help it. When, when it's very far, it just kind of comes out like word vomit. So. Word, like word vomit. vomit. It yes. just oozes out of your pores. I, I just celebrated Slytherin Pride Day. I went to work head <laughs> to toe. I literally had like the the my baseball cap, my dress. I had socks. I was in the whole nine yards. No pride yeah. for Slytherin. Slytherin Pride. Yeah. All right. So. The All show right. is on fire today. So let, let's lie. let's talk about houses really quick because we got to switch gears in a few minutes. Although there's not as much to talk about um, <laughs> with this other let's group of movies. Let's talk about Sean being on fire. Let's talk about the houses. What's oh, your house? Okay. Gryffindor. Gryffindor. Baby, what's your house? I have Ray. four different personalities, <laughs> so I reside in all four houses. <laughs> That's true. Fair enough. Fair enough. I am Slytherin. I am yeah, Slytherin. Yeah, everyone could have guessed that. You anybody. only say Slytherin because you're my brother, and I have well, been very mean sometimes. I was going to say it's a toss-up. Come to Slytherin, Slytherin Ray. Ray. We're yeah, winners over I, here. We have cookies. We're winners. We have cookies. We we have have cookies. cookies. I, I, I like Jiggly Puff. We have martinis. No, we're Slytherins. That's we have martinis. House. Better than cookies? Do we have cookie dough? Yeah. yeah. Okay. That, duh. That's you have to have yes. cookie dough to make cookies. Uh, yeah, but if you oh, cook no. it all, then you don't have any cookies. Oh, that's there. true. They could have been, you know, baked uh, prior, you know, packaged okay. stuff. But that's not how Slytherin rolls. But the fact that I even asked that question makes me go, <clears throat> maybe I should be in Hufflepuff. So, yeah, my favorite house is Jigglypuff. Fair enough. Fair enough. For sure. It's what? Jigglypuff. <laughs> <laughs> there's, five, there's five Hogwarts houses now. Jigglypuff. Jigglypuff. 
together over here. Okay, you pull yourself together. I'm going to do another fun fact. Do you okay. know that, um, I don't know what her, is it Jenny or Jeannie? Jenny. Jenny? Jenny? Jenny. Jenny. She became a professional Quidditch player. Later on, yes. Psst. It's not a real thing. <laughs> <laughs> well, the okay. For the Holly and Hawkins, I think, was it not? I, he doesn't know. Oh well, yeah, yeah, that's exactly I'm it. Hoping, yes. I'm hoping to read this Winner. <laughs> um all right. Uh and you know that um Hermione, she finally got her parents back. Did you know that? Do you know how people? it happened? She created the spell to reverse the obliviate spell. Wow. Oh. You guys are very knowledgeable. Did you know that? Harry lost the ability to speak parcel tone. Yeah, that no. was a connection with some of mm -hmm. the Because the only reason he had the ability was because he was linked. Yes. Oh, you know, Voldemort's Bogart is his own corpse. <laughs> Did you know that? Yep. Sean, you gotta stop. <laughs> you gotta stop. What's he saying? He asked if we're gonna mansplain the rest of the episode. <laughs> yes. I wouldn't have to if we had a decent producer. Uh, <laughs> the boys are fighting. Yeah, this, he's drawing first blood over there. And he's not even in my ear, so he must be really like not feeling <laughs> me. <laughs> he's threatening to mute me. We, we have a mute me. We have a mute. Is that where mutiny comes from? <laughs> oh. <laughs> yeah. All right. So Dumbledore's army. army, the DA, as it was referred to in some of the That's not the exactly thing. what DA stands for. But that's cool. <laughs> Double entendre. Oh. <laughs> I like mine better. Double entendre. I told you it starts with a G. E. Thing. Yeah, all right, whatever. The French version is entendre, it which is an A. With an e. So what? Can I, like, make it up as we go? You know why Harry's scar is a lightning bolt? Anybody for the win? Uh, the, the, it's the fight. shape of the it's wand the, that you yeah. have to make with your wand to cast the, the spell. Cast spell. No. Maybe. According to J.K. Right. Crawling, um, she said that she made it a lightning bolt because it's a fun shape. I mean, that's from the horse's mouth. Well, she I'm not calling her a horse. Yeah, she might know. <laughs> so, um, chat says that Tom Felton, Draco, for you not so knowledgeable people, uh, was sneaking <laughs> snacks onto the set so mm -hmm. much that they sewed so pockets talking. into his robe. Mm -hmm. Look at Mikey though with his shit. Let me stop. How did so. you know that, Mike? I'm so impressed with you. Harry Potter related. What spell would you want to know if you were Harry? Olive? Probably Accio, because I'm lazy and I just want to bring stuff to me. <laughs> hey, you're honest, kid. You're honest. <laughs> That's good. What about you, Rubes? What would you want? Obliviate. Okay. Yeah. What does that do? <laughs> I mean, it's it kind of like... It makes you completely uh, forget everything. Obvious. Apparently, somebody's obliviated brother over there, so... Apparently. <laughs> yeah, well, that's, that's, you know, pharmaceutical. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm joking. We'll call that age. Um, age. That's what it is. All right. Um, let's see. Did anyone, I mean, let's, I mean, if you are fanboy, fangirl, whatever, did you actually watch the um, HBO Max anniversary special? All the specials. I did. Yes. You did? I did. Mm-hmm. And you watch the and game show? the quiz show. Yeah, the Hogwarts the show quiz awesome. show. I watched that too. I did. <laughs> it was awesome. But, Arugs, do you do the ritualistic annual Harry Potter marathon? Oh, yeah. Me and my when girls, it's a tradition. It? It's um, a tradition here too. Uh, we usually do it around Christmas time. Like okay. when we, so yeah, it's not like just when we have time. No, no. Great like big bear. We, what? We, 
Okay, like right. um we get we get a whole thing and it's all like they get in their 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 harry we all get in our harry potter gear and we like we have blankets and we just sit there and watch the whole thing it's like our our yeah hey big bear i don't remember that spell sectum sempra that was the spell snape created okay yeah the who what snape, snape created Sempra. snape created it yeah i'd pick that spell too great That's big bear yeah yeah Best. I'm a, I'm not a great big bear. I'm a great like moderate bear. Moderate bear. <laughs> Just so you know. <laughs> um, all right. So um, let's switch gears a little bit and let's talk about. Oh, wait. oh, go ahead. You didn't ask the most important question. Oh, what is the question? There are seven movies to choose from. Which one's your favorite? Oh, okay. Rapid fire. The Order of the Phoenix. Phoenix. Yep. Order of the Order Phoenix. Mine yeah. too. Really? What does the chat say? Yeah. We're saying yep. No, he said yep before that. Too, oh. That's why I'm the chat girl. <laughs> that's why you're the so, chat girl. <laughs> so, okay. Real hey, quick, just, before we move on, why Order of the Phoenix, Mike? Um, because it's kind of like the big blowout scene with all the Death Eaters and Voldemort and, you know, they break away from the school to, to try to save Sirius. And it's got that huge battle in the yes. Department of Magic. Department of Magic? Ministry of Magic? Ministry of Magic. Ministry of Magic, yeah. All right, Arugs, why for you? Uh, I just, I, I felt like that's the, it, it just was a great movie. It was, uh, it was a big turning point in the yeah. whole Siri, the whole franchise. It's like that's the when they went from you actually saw him go from little kid and whiny mm -hmm. little kid to like, okay, he's a grown up actually having to deal with big problems. And right. so that's, I think that's, why yeah. like that's the same thing for me. And I guess it's like for us watching it as an older audience versus like watching it as a younger audience, uh, because it is that character development, because rarely do you get to see that in one instant. Most yeah. of the time, it's, you know, throughout a movie, they do a little bit here, a little bit there. And I feel like the fifth movie in that one instant, Harry Potter, like, graduated. Mm -hmm. So, uh, but Sethra, I'm going to go with you that As Prisoner of Azkaban was my second favorite. That was my least favorite. Pure nuts, but that's cool. Yeah, <laughs> nuts. all kinds of nuts. Ooh. Did you have a crush on any character? Me? No, but yeah. my daughter did. My daughter guess, Malfoy. loved Malfoy. Loved him. She was so in love it's with because him. She's your daughter. <laughs> but she's a, the daughter that had that is in Ravenclaw was the one that loved like was in love with him. My Slytherin was like, I don't have time for boys, whatever. <laughs> so, <laughs> so yeah. Good Malfoy, game. she's in love with Malfoy. All right. What about you, Mike? <clears throat> Hermione. Hermione? Yeah, I figured. It's mainly just Emma Watson, but I mean, she's so pretty. She's very she pretty. She's a child. Is beautiful. <laughs> she grew up. Hello. Well. And he was a child, so he's allowed to have a crush. Okay, yeah, I hear a lot. Fair enough. All right. <laughs> Fantastic critters and why you should call the pound on them. No, we call you. All right. So thus far. Hold on. Because I don't know how Michael feels about Fantastic Beasts, but Aruz, do you enjoy Fantastic Beasts because you're a Harry Potter fan, or are you just like, whatever? I actually, I, I purposely, because I'm a Harry Potter fan, I purposely went into this franchise, in the movie, the whole thing, thinking this is a different franchise. I cannot right. compare the two. This is a different time. It's before all of that. I have to judge it as is. And and I like him. I like him. Like I yeah, so I like it just for those little like references, you know, where they'll they'll say or do something and you're like, oh Harry Potter. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I liked it because it was to me it would um and since I'm probably the eldest of the the group, even the chat, no uh, I would say that it was more adult driven, right? Because like right. the four main characters are like in their, you know, thirties and forties or whatever. Right. 
So you would mm-hmm. think that it was more adult. So that's what my hopes were going into that. But, you know, alas, I still fell asleep. <laughs> I don't know what it is. I just can't get past it. It's not just her. Exactly. And I am like a super fan of like magic and, you know, the mystical and, you know, all that stuff. But I don't know what it is about Harry. Just is like, is it what's the spell for her knockout? Because <laughs> they cast it on me every freaking time. Whatever, <laughs> whatever the spell is, nobody knows. Okay. Still a mystery. It hasn't been revealed yet. Maybe. <laughs> Maybe. All right. So, what's your characters thus far in the Fantastic Beasts and that that you know series? Like favorite character? Yeah. Uh, Thus far. Jacob. Jacob. Queenie. Yeah. Jacob Queenie. Queenie's yeah. mine Queenie's too. She's one. hot. Queenie's great. I'm super hot. Jacob's pretty awesome. Jacob's he's super hot. He's just he's just hilarious. He, he is. He's great comedy. Uh, he'd make a good husband because he he can bake. <laughs> I'm like okay. score. She cooks and he bakes. That is going to be the perfect couple, right? I want in on that triad. Okay. Can they adopt me? <laughs> oh, my camera's glitching. I'm going into the matrix. <laughs> That's what happens when you piss off the producer. Is it glitching on everybody's? Yes. Yep. Yes. Sean, fix me. You, you gotta right. stop it and then put it back on. All right, I'm gonna stop it and put it back on. I'm not dropping the audio. Oh no, it didn't work. All right. You might have to move over into Ray's I'll camera. Be back. <laughs> I'll be back. Just scooch on in. It's cool. I think that's it. Keep going. All right, so we're gonna keep going. <laughs> you got your mic? Yeah, I'm good. You got yours on? All right. So we're going to do this um, on the fly because we're good like that. Um, <laughs> characters for me is going to be a tie Ouch. between Newt because it's the whole animal thing. Like, mm-hmm. I love animals. And he is so sweet and he's just this genuine person. And then Dumbledore. How could you not love Jude Law as Dumbledore? Jude Law is the best Dumbledore. He is a gorgeous Dumbledore. He's a good looking guy. (laughs) But not only that, like he's such an amazing actor that you can actually watch him and imagine you are watching a young Dumbledore. Because a lot of the mannerisms, a lot of the the way he speaks, you know, he just kind of embodied that character. So I think that makes it work better. It's cool. I agree. Yeah. So I think Bronner might have mansplained himself out of this episode. <laughs> <laughs> I still have audio. <laughs> <laughs> It'll be okay. Oh, well, he's back. No worries. I'm back. I'll get him out of here again. <laughs> Yeah, so, I had a, a USB hub situation, so it's fixed now. You had a situation at the hub? Yeah. Okay. Oh. So. See, I did have that question. What? Never mind. Go ahead. Okay. Are you okay? Yeah. All right. Where were you at? What are you guys discussing? We were discussing Fantastic Beasts and our favorite characters and why I love Jude Law as Dumbledore. It's because he's well, beautiful. <laughs> Oh, that's cute. Seth or said the Death Eaters are interfering with the stream. <laughs> oh. <laughs> What's a Death Eater? Oh. <laughs> Nothing. I'm just what joking. would your Patronus be, Michael? I took the test on the Harry Potter website. No, I didn't take a test. Well, it, I just really wanted to be an it, elephant. You want my Patronus to be an elephant? <laughs> no, mine. No. Uh, yeah, she's not coming. I don't need a test. I'm just going to say it's an elephant and we would go with that. Okay. Or a pig. Mine's a bat. Mm. All right, Arugs, did you take the test? Um, I did. I don't remember what it was. I want to feel like it was a dog of some sort. 
Okay. My, my it was a dingo. Is it? <laughs> All right. So it's what the dingo is my movies? baby? It was a falcon. Thing. A falcon. Oh, that's a good one. Okay. So the chat has a firefly, a court awe, a corgi, oh. an otter. <laughs> John, yours is not a sea cucumber. <laughs> <laughs> It's a banana. <laughs> banana. It's a banana. banana. <laughs> it's a plantain. <laughs> banana. It's nah. one, okay. It's one of those little little bananas, though. You know the <laughs> the little like the cuties. The cuties of bananas. <laughs> of, banana. of the banana variety. Um, so. I think I'm going to go on strike and not take the test because if they tell me it's something other than an elephant, I'm going to be <laughs> I did like I did like the sea cucumber answer, though. All right. Speaking of creatures, um, which beast of the Fantastic Beasts is your fave? Oh, it's the Nifflers. The Nifflers. The Nifflers. <laughs> They're the best. Is that the, the money hungry? Yeah, that's a little the platypus? The Nifflers. Yeah, of course. My favorite is. is when he's sitting there at the bank and he's just looking at him and he's just like pushing it in. It's <laughs> going in the pouch. He's like, excuse me. Burp. <laughs> are, are, are they marsupials? No, it's when he turns him upside down and he's like, shake it. <laughs> are platypuses oh, marsupials? I don't know, but it's not a platypus, it's a niffler. They're different. <laughs> Well, according to JK, we're on first name Nobody basis. Nobody asked JK. <laughs> well, wow. There's some JK hate going on right now. Um, I don't even remember. All the an all the beasts are based on real animals from I'm the sure animal kingdom. Based on it, but yeah. From the animal kingdom. I mean, obviously, there's no dragons and griffins that. You know, you normal people can see, but you know, you normal people because you're so special. Well, I can see them. <laughs> I don't know about you, but I can see them. Don't worry, we'll make that doctor you with a psychiatrist. I'm too old to do psych. I'll just claim Alzheimer's and stuff. No, so you'll bear explain to the psychiatrist. Yeah, I probably would get on every lasting nerve of the psychiatrist. All right, Mike. <clears throat> You did say Nifflers, right? What did what? you say? My favorite's the Jawa from the second movie. Oh, the cat dragon? Mm -hmm. Oh, he's oh. really cool. Yeah. Oh, boy. He but was good the CGI, thing. too. The cat thing kind of gets me. Maybe if it was like a couch potato cat, I'd be okay with that. <laughs> but that cat has fur. So I'm not that. But it's a magic cat, <laughs> so you might not be able to do it. Who knows? I liked it though, because that was in Paris, right? That cat thing. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. That was, was nice. The circus. But you like the J Japan stuff. It yeah. Chinese. It was Chinese, but. Yeah. What's the Chinese? I thought they said it was a Japanese. It was Chinese. No. JK, my bad. Are you sure? Mm -hmm. Yeah, he's right. Because it's. Yeah, he's right. Okay. Because. Oh, great big bear! What did, what, what did great big bear say? Yeah, you should imagine bear ball. the bear ball. Really? <laughs> Dude, imagine him coughing that up, though. That would be bad. All right, so I liked I liked Groot. Groot was my favorite. There's no Groot, honey. Yeah, it was like a Groot baby. A Groot baby. I can't. I can't a green Groot baby. Things were sticks. It was like a little tree thing. So I think it's band. called sticks. No, no I mean, that's a band. Oh, mama. Um, <laughs> pick. Was it called pick? No. Because he picked locks. Pick it. Pick it. Pick it. Pick it. His pick name it. was pick it. Name but was what pick was the name of the creep? Like the species. I don't know. Species. Chat. Mandrake. Chat. Mandrake. No. No, no not a mandrake root. Mandrake scream. Magical? Mad Madrigal. Nope. I don't know. Mm -hmm. Rooks looks like she's Googling. Yeah, she's Googling. I am Googling it. Hold on. A bow truckle. Yeah. I was okay. like, I knew it was something like a bow truckle. <laughs> <laughs> like, no, yeah, I think that's what is great. Great. yeah. All right. Um, 
So a lot of people's biggest complaints about Fantastic Beasts and, you know, that, that film series is that um, there's not a lot of magic or there's not, it's not as magical as the Harry Potter franchise. Do we agree with that? I think I see a lot of magic in I it. I disagree, yeah. I mean, they're well, straight up blowing up buildings yeah. and like and then fixing them. And then fixing them. <laughs> they obliviated, obliviated an entire town. Yeah, obliviating the entire you know, town. You know what really feels weird? And it could be like when the filming was done and like how CGI progressed and stuff. Mm -hmm. But even though it was set like in 1920s or whatever, mm -hmm. it felt like it was a newer like it was it was more modern than harry potter yeah. but harry potter was happened afterwards right so yeah. yeah i think i think it was less magical in the sense you couldn't see the magic like there wasn't a bunch of kids you I know practicing like stuff and whatnot it was definitely a more subtle but you also have to realize where these movies take place mm -hmm. so they're not in hogwarts where magic is accepted they're out in the world with muggles and they have to be cautious and careful. They're, they're not, not called muggles. Where they're being persecuted. No match. Yeah, I'm sorry. Being persecuted by no matches. Right. You know, so it is a different time. Yeah, and that's like, that was really the really whole part. reason that there was an uprising. Right. Was that know. because they were being persecuted and you had to, to, which is why it's progressive. You see more magic in the second movie. Like that's why you see more, and I think that the third one is going to have more. I it, because that's the whole point of the uprising and the wizard war is because that's a good point. they got tired of being suppressed. So, yep. of course, and at the end of the magic. day, uh, the movie is called Fantastic Beasts, so mm. they're focused on the beasts. Just saying. Yeah, that that's from what I understand <laughs> that um, it's going to be more like centered around hogwarts anyway so the third one yeah yeah so obviously there's going to be more magic involved if that's the case so like no one brought up, i want to go back for a second because no one brought up hagrid right why, why isn't he in the isn't he an old dude no 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 i don't know exactly how old he is but i mean he's i'd say he's probably in like his 40s so is but he's not uh, a sorcerer, right? No, he's a wizard. He's a wizard? Yeah, he's not allowed to use his wand. Okay, so... He was a bad boy. Maybe he'll be at Hogwarts in the next movie. Who knows? That'd be kind of cool. Kid. I mean, he, As he a kid, was yeah. Kid, he was, but the he was, in, school, he was in school when, when Tom Riddle was in school. Yeah. So that's highly unlikely. Yeah, okay. it would be the 40s and 50s, so, right? Mm -hmm. This is not the multiverse. He's, he's not as old as Dumbledore. <laughs> Definitely not. Yeah, we're, we're definitely not talking the multiverse. Yeah, All right. I don't, think, I don't even think Dumbledore's headmaster in these movies. Mm -hmm. yeah. no, he's he's just professor. So, this is kind of a weird question, though, but was it the right thing for them to do from switching, getting away from Harry Potter and going to Fantastic Beasts? Because they're not really nearly as successful. Now, I mean, they still make a lot of money, but I mean, the Potter franchise was like huge, right? Um, one hundred merchandising. Think so, yes. And I will tell you, this is exactly how you capitalize on a franchise. Keep Every single Harry Potter fan with Newt Scamander, Fantastic Beasts, and where you find them. That book is in Harry Potter. So you mean to tell me we're going to have a movie about this? Yeah, every single Harry Potter fan went, I'm down. And I think mm -hmm. to add on to that, like, it introduced the world of magic to a whole new generation. I yeah. mean, you, you've got essentially brand new characters that the old generation have seen or heard of at least that the new generation are being introduced to. Right. So it's kind of like a welcome, welcome home kind of thing, at least I think. Yeah, see, I always get kind of little, little iffy about prequels kind of thing, um, because I, I don't know. I, I figured that we've already journeyed down that. We know what ultimately ends up happening, right, with the world or whatnot, because we've seen the future. Mm -hmm. And that to me, I mean, like they did it 
kind of backwards too in like Lord of the Rings and The Hobbit. They released the, you know, Lord of the Rings series before they released The Hobbit. And it should have kind of been the other way around. So do you think this should have been the other way around? No. No? Mm -hmm. No. No, it I wouldn't, think it's great it, the it, way it is. Yeah. Because regardless of how I know it ends or not, I don't know this what story. led up to it. This story um, is so, so completely different. You're invested enough to care about the actual story. The trials and tribulations. Yeah. Yeah, mm -hmm. no, that makes sense. I'm a big fan, though, of origin stories. Mm -hmm. I'm huge. I am just one of these people. I will go see it because it's an origin story. Uh, and I, because I like seeing, I, okay. yes, I know what happens. I want to know why it happens and what led to that. And so that's why I, I think I sort of, I love Fantastic Beats is it's filling in some gaps and I'm like, yay. And Sean brings up a very good point. No, he doesn't. He, he does bring up a very good point. Really. He does. And I will mute your microphone. <laughs> Star Wars mute everybody else. <laughs> did not start at the beginning. Right. They went back. Right. And they should have never so... done the, they should have never done Hayden. <laughs> <laughs> they should have never gone down that. <coughs> just Go forward, move forward, do the Mandalorian. And move forward. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, I mean, that's fun stuff. Okay, so really quickly, um, we're not going to get into that one question I have there because it's I do a little controversial. Know. So, fantastic beast of where to find them. So, all of us are about to go watch it. But what is your favorite moment up to this point? Um, that's a tough one. I have to say when in the first movie Graves is interrogating Newt's commander and it's the first time you really hear about Dumbledore because he says, you know, I think it's why is Albus Dumbledore so fond of you or something like that. And that's kind of when my heart like skipped a beat and it was like, oh, it's Aww. Dumbledore, you know? And right. It was that intro into Harry Potter, like officially Harry Potter. It was really cool. That's really cute. All right, Bruce, you go. <laughs> cute. I, I was, I was heart sitting here fluttered. thinking. I was going <laughs> through. I honestly loved when you went into the suitcase. Like yes. you got to go into the suitcase because you see him pop in and out up until that point. And you're like, okay, whatever. But then you get in it and it's this, like, that. there's where th there's all the fantastic beasts and it's all of this magic. And that's the magic in itself. Like, mm -hmm. all of these things. And I, it was just, I love that scene. And I, I, that's my second I think it was favorite. just great. That, that is my second favorite because it, on top of that, it's where you get to see, you see a, a physical difference in Newt's commander inside the scoop case and outside. Yes. yes. Because that's where he's comfortable. That's where he's at home. He's very awkward around everybody else but his creatures. But my very favorite, very favorite, and I'm surprised Michael didn't say this was his favorite, is at the end of the last movie. La, 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 la. Go ahead. It's not my favorite. It's not for, your favorite? For one reason and one reason only. Because if... You know what I'm saying, though, right? If they're going with the direction I think they're going... It's a lie, and if it's not a lie, then it changes a lot about the Harry Potter universe and right the double doors. So it makes me wonder because if they decide to go with this and say this is true, now you just ostracize all of your true fans. It just throws mm -hmm. everything we know because out the we've learned these things later on, mm -hmm. and you're gonna at, you're gonna ask us to. What, forget everything we already know? Multiverse. Not multiverse. <laughs> Doctor Strange is not showing up. <laughs> okay? No Doctor Strange. <laughs> but there is a Doctor Who. No. Yes. Well, yes, there is, but no. Let's... But he wasn't actually Doctor Who. It was just the actor that played Doctor Who. Oh, really? David Bennett? Ten David Tennant. Tennant. Bennett? Tennant. Bennett? Uh -huh. Tennant? Was he? In... TARDIS did come to Hogwarts. I have, I have a, I have a artwork that has has the tenth doctor riding a broom on, over Hogwarts. Okay, so um, I have a bunch of little talking points. Really quick, I want to point out that um, what house was was Newt when he was at Hogwarts as a kid? Hufflepuff. He was a Hufflepuffer, uh -huh. so Jigglypuff. Got it. 
<laughs> he was a huffer. He was That's a huffer. Um, he played Barty Couch Jr. That's, That's right. Yeah. So honestly, guy. not based on your your favorite, but <laughs> what do you think you would be sorted to housewise? Gryffindor. You you do? Yeah. You think so? I took the quiz and it was Gryffindor. So I I'm took the quiz. Oh man, we talked about this. I'm bipolar. I'm going to all four. All four houses, but all that's four. not that's not what I'm the, really the question. Okay, so Newt's grandson is married to um, Arug's favorite character, Luna. Luna Lovegood, and that makes total sense. Isn't that crazy? Mm -hmm. I can it's totally see world. that. Yes. I, and, and it would be the cutest couple ever. And I'm like, yes. I can just picture Luna in the suitcase. I can picture her like, you know, just planting and just doing all the things and painting the flat pots. Yes. So this, this kind of blew my mind a little bit. Okay. So originally the role of Queenie was going to go to Kristen Stewart or Dakota Fanning. And I'm so glad I did Right? Because Queenie was so hot. She was smoking hot. I think they did a fantastic job casting her. Um, she really? plays the role so well. Amazing. Obviously, I actually yeah. bought her wand when I was in Orlando this last All right. time. Really? So I have Spe a Queenie wand. Speaking of stuff, did you bring stuff to show? I have stuff. I have like my entire office. I asked you to bring your thing. <laughs> what did you bring, Mike? Show and tell. I brought one thing was this liquid luck potion that our friend Amanda. I was gonna say, is, did Amanda make that one? She did make it from scratch. It's a cool. That's so potion. cute. Um, and all right, my Harry Potter one that Rachel bought me for Christmas. So that's why it's your fave because Rachel bought it for you. Because he's got really cool stuff. He's got like a, only ones I have. a whole whole big old. I have stuff. like a billion wands. I'm jealous. I'm jealous. <laughs> My daughters are downstairs. Yes. So there you go. But yeah, this is my queenie wand. I love that. That is awesome. So they're very. Yeah, that is my whole office. Like, like, I was like, I turned the camera around and just show and tell. <laughs> yeah, it's kind of like, what's your favorite Batman piece? Mm. Can you tell? Yeah. <laughs> I'm relegated to a corner over here. <laughs> yeah. Put Harley in the corner. Nobody puts Harley in a corner. All right. So um, that brings us to the end of our show. Um, I'm looking forward to a nap. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, let's just be honest I mean seriously I mean come on now eh? there's going to be the Hobbit on Prime maybe we'll talk about that sometime uh, <laughs> yes we will take an entire hour to describe a chair yeah, it was, yeah he's pretty descriptive there Tolkien but in any case that brings us to the end of our wonderful journey down um the rabbit hole that is, you know, Diagon Alley. And Diagon, Alley. Diagon Alley. Diagon Alley? Platform nine and three quarters. Diagon Alley was in the Lego Batman, or no, the Lego <laughs> Harry Potter game. Yes, it was in the Lego. That was good. All right, I'm stopping <laughs> off. You're so pretty. All right, next week on Con Carolina's television, by the way, if you want to get badges, and I suggest that you do, because I'm going to give you a little code to Wait. put in. Not just because you're going to get a code, but because the CCTV crew and the BSBN crew is going to be there. And we will be doing live streaming from the car. Like, so if you're not there, a you're ton of shenanigans out. are going to be going on there. Shenanigans is the understatement of this. Um, We're going to Mortal Kombat. We are going to Mortal Kombat. <laughs> We're going to fling do. Flung We're going to fling do. <laughs> All right, so go to concarolinas.org and Wait. click on the little purchase badges, little icon. It's, you know, the CC, our, our little uh, mascot. Click on that badge, and it'll take you to the Eventbrite screen. And when you're there, when you go to check out yeah, and whatnot, put in the coupon code CCTV22, and you will get, uh, I think it's 25% off, which is awesome. So coming up next week on uh, this, you know, that station, Con Carolina's television here on the Don Darrow Network streams, um, 
we're going to talk about religion and gaming. We're going to get a little serious next week, I think. Um, I'll try to bring some lightheartedness to it because, you know, there's going to be different points of view. So be sure you, you tune in next week um, to get a crash course in religion and gaming. And, um, you know, we're talking probably a little bit of vampire masquerades some D&D stuff and, and how we incorporate or how we even tolerate um, role playing, you know, through the lenses of, you know, religion. So that's going to be a pretty captivating um, little endeavor here. I think it's going to be um, some, some, there's going to be some fireworks and stuff going on, I think, a little bit. So please um, tune in next week at um, 8 p.m. Eastern time um, right here on uh, this Twitch TV, the Don Darrow. And we will see you next week. And we'd like to thank Michael for joining us today. It was great to have you. It was our first time having him. I think this is like our ninth or tenth show or something. And we finally got this guy on. And the Rugs, who seems to have been on like seven or eight of the episodes that we've done. I can't help it. I like having her. I on. know. She's amazing. I've been on three. Like three. Only okay. Three. Um, but <laughs> hopefully three. she'll come back again and see us. We're going to have to fix that. And we would also like to thank Sean for doing an amazing job producing. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I was like, yeah. I was like, <laughs> <laughs> I love you, Sean. Um, <laughs> Yeah, so um, I appreciate the chat and all that wonderful feedback going on. Thank you. That was awesome. Thank you, guys. Um, and we will see you next week. I hope we're winning you over and you're going to come back and you're going to tell friends and everyone's going to come party with us. Boop, boop. Party with us at Con Carolinas. All right. All right. Appreciate you guys Bye. for showing up. Thank all you. Right. Peace Lots and love. of love. We're out of here.